I have chosen some which I think are good, could be good to visualize, some places where you can find that, and then some for data science. Hey guys, my name is Ali and I am a data analytics manager working in Oslo, Norway. In this video, I want to focus on data sets which you can use for your data analyst portfolio. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some important points to remember when you select a data set. And then we're going to look at data sets which you can use for data visualization. We're going to look at some which you can use for data science. And then we're going to look at another type which focus on more of a different type of connectivity, which is good to know because more and more data sources are using this type of data connectivity. When you choose a data set for your data analyst portfolio or for some sort of, you know, if you want to just practice or you want to showcase something to someone, it doesn't have to be part of a portfolio, but it's just a data set which you want to use for a data analy analytics purpose, it is good to remember a couple points. And the first one is that it is somewhat a realistic data set. It doesn't have to be fully real life, but it has to be something which uh, reflects something realistic. So that's the first point. The second one that it has to be easy to understand and don't need a lot of explaining. And the reason for that is if you are using this to present something, if you're using this to showcase something, you want the user who are getting this presentation not have to think too much about, okay, what is this data set actually about? Um, and instead focus on what have you done to the data set? What are the skills you have, you're trying to showcase and what are the different, you know, things that you've applied, the different concepts you have applied that you want to show that you know how to do. So that they don't spend 50% of their time trying to understand the data and 50% looking or paying attention to what you're doing. Instead, you know, it's easy to understand. Okay, I understand what this is about. Now I can focus on what the person is trying to show me. The last one is that it should have some sort of data cleansing as that is such a key element. So you want to pick a data set which is not perfect and you have to do some sort of data modeling or cleansing to it so that it, it showcases that skill set because it's such a key element within the industry that we work. So let's look at some selected examples. And what I've done is I have chosen some, which I think are good, could be good to visualize, some places where you can find that, and then some for data science. And we can uh, we can open some of these pages and just um, uh, uh, look at them. So the first one is from the Pew Research Center. And on this page, you can find a lot of different topics. And what they do is that they gather data um, based on a lot of different areas. And then in there, you can find a lot of different data sets. Uh, so it's a little bit up to you and this is one of those where you can find a data set and you can showcase some sort of real life um, real life scenario so that is one place and that, and that it doesn't link directly to a to a data set but there are a lot of different categories and I will put the links to these different um, the different sources in the description if we look down I also uh, chose the, a Titanic data set and a Olympic data set um, Olympic results data set and that is because it, it's just to showcase what I'm saying but I want it to be easy to understand, you know, if you're saying that, hey, I want to show you guys something that I've been done to a data set on Olympic results, you know, we have medals, athletes, you know, it's not that hard to understand. Or the Titanic, what happened there, how many were female, uh, male, how many survived, you know, what were the different, I don't remember all the attributes now, but we can open it and we can have a quick look because then you can see it. I believe there's a description there, you know, um, what, what was their fare cost, um, what kind, which captain were they in, what were their ages, easy things to understand, but you can still visualize it and it becomes very um, easy to, to just focus on the skill set which, you, which you're trying to showcase. And then on the vis visualize, I have two that I really want to point out and one is something called Make Over Monday, which is created by, I don't remember his name now, but I think it's Andy Kriebel. And he is someone who focuses a lot on Tableau. But what he does, and especially if you are someone who wants to learn Tableau, you definitely want to know about this. Every single week, I think it is that he adds a data set. And then there is a um, sort of a challenge uh, in the community to create a data visualization based on that data set. And keep in mind, these are very specific use case data sets. And in Tableau, you create visualization, which might be more beautiful than they are informative but the point here is to create beautiful and informative visualizations but it's a great way to practice a great way to see what other people are doing and it's a great place to find data sets which are quite visualized data analysis friendly because that's what this whole challenge is about and the last one on the visualize is actually another database which is quite similar to the adventure works database which i use in my series on how to create a data analyst portfolio from scratch but this is actually a retail store use case and it's the same principle you will get to a place where there is a um, a uh, database which you can restore in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and then you have a full-fledged database which you guys can play around with and practice and also use for different purposes. So that is also another really cool one as you see for the retail industry. 
Then on the right side, I have chosen um, a couple ones that are for data science, and we're just gonna look at one of them, but I found these in, uh, at a blog, uh, datasciencedojo.com. I think this looks really good if you're interested in data science, because if we open one of them, you can see that you will come to a page and they've kind of classified them in, you know, um, uh, you know, level, uh, recommended, recommended use, which domain is it for. And then it even says a little bit about what the data set is about, you know, the data quality, really good stuff if you want to practice data science. And I just uh, picked out the ones which I thought were interesting. Um, predict students' knowledge, estimate location from Wi-Fi signal, forecast pollution level of a city, predict chance of survival, and then group similar travel reviews. So they have different skills, um, skill set uh, kind of uh, categories and also uh, different purposes. So I thought that was really cool and I'll add the link to the, to the blog page where those different data science uh, data sets are. Now the last one that I want to share with you guys is because the feature is in cloud and a lot of vendors are using something called a API. All APIs are different but there are some things that are recurring and that is to authenticate, there are tokens, there are some principles which are just good to look at and understand. You don't need to become an API connectivity expert, but you will most likely have to deal with APIs as more and more um, vendors are you know, in the cloud and that is usually the type of connectivity that they use. Those were some data sets that you guys can use either for your data analyst portfolio or if you want to practice or if you just want to try something new. Maybe you just want to try a data science project or you want to try to connect to an API or you just want to try and visualize some data. These are some examples. Like I said, I will add all the links in the description and hopefully these data sets will give you guys the opportunity to practice your skills even more. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos on data and analytics, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.